All right guys, welcome back to my channel. I am in my chicken coop here. Today we are going to be installing uh, the ladies first chicken door opener. Now I've had, this is my third one. Uh, the one of them I have on my chicken run. The other one I have on my chicken coop, my smaller coop. And the one I have in my coop has been working flawlessly. It's wonderful. This is a brand new one. Uh, I'm going to be putting this on this coop here. So normally this chicken door would go on the outside of your coop. And I still can do that. The problem I'm having, I got these ribs here on the uh, metal uh, outside of the coop here. And it's going to stick out here, whatever this distance is, oh, a half inch to three quarters of an inch here. Um, I, can stick, I can still do that. I was going to cut this you know, cut an opening out here so this would fit into it, recessed inside. That's a lot of extra work for me and, and it's really not necessary. So because of these here, I'm gonna put it on the inside of the coop. Again, I can cut this and I can cut an opening out for it, but it's not really necessary. Or honestly, I could just mount this right on top here, get longer screws and screw it in. Maybe fill this in with caulking here. Um, Something like that. I mean, you can get creative. You can do whatever you want. But for me, I mean, this would be better for off inside the coop. Um, so I don't have to do all that work out here. All I have to do is cut the opening out, and I'll be all set. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put this right inside here like this, up against the wood here. All I have to do is cut out my opening which is going to be 10 and a half inches by 12 inches high and uh, get it wired up. I did a review on this and I will put a link to that right here. It's got a, a very unique safety feature that it, it is impossible to kill your uh, chicken because of the safety feature it has. Like I said, it's been working great. Solar powered, batteries too. And I love it, it works great. Let me show you the inside real quick and, and I'll show you how it works. This cover, you pull out this little pin here and this cover slides down, okay? Now, here you have a threaded rod, so it's uh, direct drive onto the door. It pulls the door up and down. In the event a chicken gets stuck there in the door, this whole, this whole unit here, let me see if I can do this. You see this whole unit right here, how it's sliding up and down? As this door is going down, and if there's pressure, something blocking the doorway, this whole unit will lift. And if you see here, there is a limit switch here, or a switch, I should say. And once it starts hitting the, the, the chicken or whatever is blocking the door, it'll raise up and it'll shut it off. See that? And this switch here is for the door. As the door is climbing up, it'll hit the switch and it'll stop the door fully open. But like I said, when, in the event as this thing is going down and there's a blockage or something stopping the door, this whole unit goes up and right here, this limit switch, it'll stop the door. As soon as the uh, object is out of the way, the door, the main assembly drops down again and continues on down. Also, there are some limit switches, not limit switches, these are the switches to when the door should open, if you want it to open a little earlier or a little later, or close a little earlier or a little later, uh, you would just do so here. Uh, as far as I remember, uh, the, op the part when the door should open, you shouldn't even touch that because this is solar powered. As soon as that solar panel uh, gets a little bit of light and starts producing electricity, the door will open, okay, by the, by the batteries. But that's a signal, once the, uh, the uh, solar panel is producing a little bit of power, it will uh, start opening the door. Now, the other way around. Now, at night, or when, in the evening when the sun goes down, uh, the solar panel stops producing electricity, uh, telling this to shut the door. Now, here you can adjust that. If you want the door to close later, 
you wait to a point where your, your chickens are all in the coop, maybe wait an extra 10, 15 minutes, and then hit the button, and it'll set it at that light level every day, okay? Um, so that's how that works. This switch here is uh, the close auto open switch here. Uh, and you also get an extra one that you can mount in the coop somewhere or, or just outside the coop uh, in a covered uh, box or something so the weather doesn't get to it. But let me get this installed and I'll show you, uh, I'll show you how this all goes together. All right, also guys, you're gonna get a solar panel with a lots of cable. You're gonna get a box. You're gonna get the batteries that go inside the unit. You're gonna get some cabling and uh, this switch here. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, let me get a better shot here. Yeah, okay. There's this little toggle switch here where it's got uh, close, auto, and open. This is the manual override, basically, is what this is. All right, like I said, normally this will get mounted on the outside of your chicken coop, but it doesn't have to be put on the outside. So what I'm gonna do here, let me close this up for a second. What I'm gonna do now is put it where I need to put it. I'm gonna trace right here. Now this door is, is halfway, well, a little more than halfway shut. Um, but what I'm gonna do here is just mark where the opening's gonna go. So this is essentially 10 and a half. Now I have to make it 12 inches high. We're going to make that, that opening and then I'm going to get my Sawzall and we're going to cut that all out. All right, I don't know if you can see this, but I marked out where the opening is going to be here. So it's 10 and a half by 12. So I'm going to pre-drill for some small holes here because I'm going through some sheet metal too. Uh, otherwise, I just blow the biggest hole through there I could with my drill. So I'm going to go through here with a smaller drill. And that'll go through the sheet metal. Now I'm going to switch to a bigger drill. And the reason why I'm doing that is I have to get my Sawzall blade in the in the hole. Maybe I should lock it. Nope. Time for a new battery. <laughs> Try it a little slower. That worked. Now I'm gonna get my saws all and we're gonna cut all the way around.
Okay, that was loud. <laughs> All right. I just got to clean it up a little bit and we'll be in business. All right, so now the only thing I have left to do is clean this edge up on the sheet metal part here, maybe with a file or some sandpaper. This little uh, ridge here from the uh, outside sheet metal I'll probably end, I'll end up covering that up when I put my ramp for the chickens to go out there. So this bottom portion, their feet will never, are never going to touch it. Okay, so we're going to put this on like this, line it up on the bottom, even on both sides here, and the, the base is already there. That looks about right. I can't open the door until I get the, the wire all plugged in and the batteries in. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm going to screw it on. Oop. There we go. Got to push a little hard. solid. Beautiful. All right, now we got to take this off here. We're going to do the wiring. All it is is your solar panel plugs in right here and the manual switch plugs in right here and we are good to go then. All right, we're going to be installing the override switch right now. Uh, so we're going to do the wiring to it. It's basically a phone cable is what it is, okay? It comes with it. So on the side here, nearest the circuit board, there's a hole in the side. It's on an angle. So when you mount this outside, the water can't come in when it rains. And we're going to put that in, the, put that in there like that. If I can get my big fingers in there. There we go. And we're going to put the override switch, we're going to connect it right here, like that. Make sure you hear it snap in like that. All right, now i got to mount this little override switch. Um, they don't give you a whole lot of cable here. Uh, it's just phone wire. You can buy this anywhere, basically, and uh, get whatever length you want. But it's enough for me for what I'm going to use it for here. So we're basically going to put this, I'm, I'm just going to put it right here. And this plugs in right to the back here, just like a phone line, like that. I'm going to mount that right here. I'll end up tacking this wire nice and neat up against here later. But we're going to mount that here so we can have our clothes open and auto right here, like that. All right, the solar panel. They give you this little solar panel, and it works. It works good. It charges up the batteries, because the batteries is what brings the door up and down. This keeps it charged. So you got quite a bit of cable here. What I'm going to do is plug it in, and I'm going to run this because my south is in that direction there. So the, my solar panel has to be on this side of the building. Preferably, if it reaches the roof, I'm going to bring it to the roof. But I guess what we'll do now is go outside. I'm going to put a hole at the corner of the building here and run, a, run the cable down here. Then we'll put this up outside. All right, guys, I have my hole drilled here. Now I got my solar panel. I'm going to feed this in here. And my plan is, if I have enough slack, I'm going to put it up at the very top there, facing kind of south, southeast. So I got a big old tree here that's going to be blocking due south. So, but it's okay. It doesn't take much. Even on a cloudy day, these things will still produce power and, and um, 
charge the battery. So I'm going to feed this through, pull it in from the other side, plug it in, and I'm going to see how much slack I have left to get to the top of the peak here. That'll work. So I'm going to tidy this wire up. I'm going to hook it up here, and then I'm going to tidy it up here. And then any extra slack won't be seen. I'll just leave it up on the uh, lofts up, up there, up here. We're going to plug in the solar panel. Again, we're going to bring it through that hole in the side here. Like that. And we're going to plug it in right here. Make sure it's plugged in. Okay. And that should do it. All right, it looks like we have plenty of slack here. I'm gonna put it here and then face it up into the sky, obviously. But this way is due south. And that'll work out good. Get some sun in the morning and get it from the south, that's good. So I'm gonna put it here and I'm gonna drill it. Now I could use the screws that are already there, pull those out but they have a big head on them and I won't be able to tilt this thing up if I use those. So let's, where are we here? There we go. long enough. Uh, that's good. Now I want to point this thing up. Eh, it loosened up. All right, we'll keep it like that for now. And then I'm gonna tuck this wire underneath. Like that. Now that worked out really good. I have just this extra for slack here. Uh, so that worked out really nice. So I'll just tuck that under there like that. That's it right there, which you see right here. <laughs> so all I have to do now is caulk up this hole and uh, we'll be in business. All right, I am ready to put the batteries in. Right now it's an auto. And it's daylight, so the door is opening. You're gonna watch right here, once this hits that switch, it'll stop. So now it stopped. All right, now I wanna show you what happens if a chicken gets in the way or something stuck in the doorway and it goes down, it will automatically stop. So I'm gonna put this box of screws here in the doorway. Like that. Now I'm gonna shut the door and I'll show you what happens.
your door is closing. And once it hits this uh, box of screws, it'll stop. And watch what happens here. This will, the whole mechanism will lift and it'll hit the override. See? And it starts going back up again. So the chicken has an extra chance to get out, get out of the way. And you can see it only doesn't take much. See, my finger I did it. And it'll go up again and it'll wait until the obstruction gets out of the way. Alright, so what's different about this one than my other chicken door is the software is a little different on this door. I guess there must have been some complaints. Um, what this does now, the door will close and it'll open and close twice, but not all the way open, uh, about halfway to let the chickens, if in case some are still stuck in the doorway, it'll give them time to, uh, to come in. So I'm going to put it on close and it'll open again and start to close. And this will be the final one. And it's shut. All right, so that is pretty much it. This looks like it's gonna work really good. Um, I have yet my ramp to make and all that, but as far as the door, the, the solar panel, the switch, it's all set. Uh, again, watch my video. I'm gonna put a link to that up here in the corner. Uh, just hover your mouse or tap in that corner there and you should see that video. I'll put a link in the description to the ladies first chicken door where you can get yours. And um, that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in my next video.